Hi everyone, this video will show how you can use PowerShell to create a distribution group in Exchange Online. Also, I will go over a few other commands that I think will help you if you need to manage a distribution group. First, I'm going to create my distribution group. I open up PowerShell as an admin and I'm connected to the Exchange Online. My distribution group is created and everyone in the company can send email to this distribution group. But let's say you want to receive email from external sender. By default, that feature is off. So to enable this feature, I have to use this command. Now my distribution group can receive emails from external senders. Now, if you want to hide your distribution group from global address list, you have to use this command. Now it's time to add members to this group and here's the command. I've added my first member to this group and now I have to give this member a send as permission so he can send email from his Outlook. Trustee is the member. So this member now has send as permission. And if you want to check or display distribution group member, you can use this command. Right now I have one member in this distribution group. I'm not going to remove anyone yet from this group because I want to show you a command that shows how many members are in a distribution group. Basically, it will give you a count. I'm not sure if you're going to use this command or not, but sometimes you might get an ask from a manager that how many people are in a distribution group. So I found it, you know, handy and I used it a few times. So I just want to share it with you. And here's the command. So there are two people in this distribution group. Again, I'm not sure if you're going to use it, but you know, I use it a few times. There are two other commands. So one, if you want to remove a distribution group and one, if you want to remove a member from a distribution group to remove a distribution group, you can use this command. And here you can type your group name. And the next one is to remove a member. Again, we're going to use remove dash distribution group member. I'm going to use identity because I have to include the name of my distribution group. It's going to be IT ops. And then here a member. I'm going to use John from this distribution group. I will say yes to all. Then I was able to remove him from this group. For my last command, I'm going to give you an example and then I'm going to show you how you can do it. As you can see here, I have four distribution groups. Now, let's say you need to get a list of distribution groups whose owner is Ocean. He's one of my members. I can either go to the Exchange Online Admin Center and go through each distribution group and write down the owner name or I can use PowerShell. Obviously, using PowerShell is more intuitive and it's faster. And here's the command for that. So what I did here, I was able to find out which distribution groups is managed by this user. And I can see the list of all the distribution groups in my tenant. As you notice, it was way faster than using the Exchange Online Admin Center. And I was able to get the result very fast. And that's all for today. Let me know if you have any questions. See you all next time.